In this video, I'll show you how to export or save selected subtitle lines in Subtitle Edit. My name is David and welcome to this video. The quick scenario here that we're working with is let's assume you want to use just a couple of subtitle lines in a non-linear editing application like Premiere Pro and probably uh, the subtitle lines you want to uh, save from Subtitle Edit are probably just translations for that particular section and you don't want to keep typing up that particular content. Now, I have a video inside Subtitle Edit and some subtitles that have been automatically generated with the awesome new uh, functionality uh, called uh, Video or Audio to Text in a Subtitle Edit and this is the beta version. You can check out that video I did recently and I've just automatically transcribed this and uh, you can see it's not really uh, the best but what we're looking for is just uh, exporting a couple of lines and then we see how they look like and work in uh, an application like Premiere Pro. So uh, let's assume I want to uh, uh, save uh, this uh, couple of lines here up to this section. Uh, these are just line 65 to 72. So they have time codes, which is pretty awesome. And then we have the text. So all you need to do to save the selected lines is just right click when you make the highlight and you can just click and then press on shift and down uh, the down key up to where you want uh, to select and then right click and then go to selected lines and then click on save selected lines as. Once I click on that, it's going to open up the folder or the folder that I recently opened uh, or that has the video, really depends. And you can save your subtitle in uh, the hundreds of subtitle formats available in Subtitle Edit. Now, I'll save mine as a subrip uh, or an SRT. And let's say uh, sample.srt, uh, you can rename that or whatever. And once you're satisfied, just click on save. Now, if we navigate to that folder, we'll see our sample. And if I just double click on it, it's going to give us line 65 to 72, just what we want. Now, uh, let's look at the, the scenario you talked about. This is our video inside Premiere Pro. I'll just drag and drop my subtitle file inside here, inside the projects. Just copy it there. And here is our sample. SRT. We'll need to create a new subtitle track by just dragging and dropping our subtitle there and uh, we'll see the option to create a new caption track and the format is a subtitle and if you have any style saved uh, you can choose uh, any style that you want uh, but at the moment I don't have any uh, style saved and then there are three options here the start point for our subtitle, the source time code, the time code that we have seen in our subtitle Playhead position, the playhead is this uh, particular thing here, or timeline start. Since our subtitle has time codes, uh, these are the time codes, uh, the time uh, 1 minute 43, whatnot, up to uh, about 1 minute 55 or 56, then we'll need to use source time code. If I click on that and click on OK, and then uh, we can just move this slightly to the side that we can just get a bigger view of this. Uh, we can also move this to the side. When you look at the subtitle track up here, you'll notice that our subtitles are just from here. And that is, if I just uh, zoom in slightly. Let's just zoom in slightly here. From around 1, 43, uh, coincides with what we have here to about uh, 156, I presume. Yes, uh, somewhere there. So 156 and so on and so forth. What has happened is that our subtitles, uh, we've exported and actually uh, imported the subtitles inside Subtitle Edit. And you can see uh, that they are, uh, they are extremely small. So what you can do is just change the font size. Let's uh, give this up to about 42. 42, size 42, and we have some bigger subtitles uh, there. So that is how you can actually export or save selected lines in Subtitle Edit as subtitles. 
uh, basically if you're using them in a non-linear editing application where let's assume you just wanted to quickly make subtitles and import them in subtitle uh, in Premiere Pro or any non-linear editing application for the purposes of using uh, the subtitle for that particular section. So that's it from me. Until next time, I hope that you have learned something. Thanks for watching.